Welcome back to GFX Rhino. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly rig layered clothing for Roblox GFX. Now I've got the Rhino Rig V2, which by the way you can get at gfxrhino.com, link in the description below for completely free. But you can use really any blocky rig you like. I'm going to be showing you, this is just this striped hoodie from Roblox right here. Uh, you can use any of these, any of these like 3D clothes. I don't know about like banana suit and these sort of full body ones, but definitely like things like these. I'm sure you can use mainly. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mainly do things like this like the blocky for the blocky rigs this method i'm going to show you is super quick and easy and it should be able to be used on like girl rigs and boy rigs and, and man and woman rigs and all the other types of rigs you should be able to do this exact method and by the way this method is from i'm bob 2 on um twitter always twitter uh, i'm bob 2 so shout out to this guy he showed me or i guess he made this thread on how to do it i'll link this thread as well as his account in the link in the description below he makes some amazing stuff to, so definitely make sure to go ahead and follow him but yeah definitely a big shout out to him i'm getting the whole method from here so yeah go ahead and check him out if you can but I just thought I'd make it into a video so yeah so you want to go ahead and import your clothing right here and the first thing you want to do is you want to separate each of the body parts into different you know parts so obviously when you have your one um, bit of clothing it's one mesh so you can see the arms and the torso are all in one mesh whereas it should be split up like the rig mesh is here so to do that you want to click tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode you'll probably want to come up to here right here and you want to disable this this will disable the x-ray so you can see it becomes a little bit less messy when you disable that uh, and you also probably want to go into face um, mode right here face selection mode and then you just want to click a on your keyboard to select the whole thing and then click m and then do by distance so this will merge uh, merge sort of the unnecessary things by the distance and then if you go ahead and click on any of the different sections you can just click l and it should select the whole the whole you know limb part so there you go it's selected the whole arm now you just want to click P on your keyboard and then click selection right there and that'll put it into its own separate mesh just like that super amazing now for some more complicated ones like the armor I actually showed you before I was going to do the video on that but it just ended up being super complicated because that armor and th those sort of more complicated ones don't really you know select that well so what you will have to do is for some of them you will just have to hold down shift and drag uh, you might also want to click on something and then shift click on another bit and then click L and that'll you know select different parts and you know you just kind of have to mess around with it and just try and select it if you really do need to you can go ahead and just you can hold down shift and click uh, click on all the different faces and you can also shift uh, click and drag to select whole you know bits of it so if you do need to do it manually you can do that but for me here i can just select one of the parts and click l and it selects the whole arm um successfully and then just click p and then selection and then put them all into their own separate layers so now i've got the or not layers i always call them layers i mean meshes so now you've got the two arms and the torso split up just like that by the way you can do the same for pants or like if you have a whole body suit or something like that you can do the same there you just need to make sure each limb is separated by the way if your little movement tools in the middle or it's just in the wrong place you can right click and then click set origin origin to geometry and that'll bring it all to the right place then you can just go ahead and line it up i think clicking alt g will also reset the location if you need to do that as you can see the arms don't actually line up even if it is lined up perfectly uh so for some of them you will just have to adjust the you know just adjust them so there we go it's all lined up but as you can see if i go ahead and select the rig and click control tab we'll just go up here and go into pose mode and i select one of the limbs and rotate it you'll see it doesn't move with it at all even if i move the whole rig it doesn't even move with it so we need to attach it up now this is the uh, this is the best part it's super super easy you just select whatever part go into your modifier properties right here click add modifier and then you just want to add in a surface deform so this one right here so you can go up uh, uh, under deform deform right here and then click uh where is it surface deform and then for target you want to set this to whatever mesh so we've got the head the left arm left leg right arm right leg and torso so this is obviously if we look from behind this is the right arm so we're going to click here and we're going to type in right and it should come up with right arm and right leg but we select right arm and then click this big bind button right here but before you do that you might want to add this modifier onto every other mesh so if you select both of your other meshes by holding 
holding down shift so select one hold down shift select the other and then the last one you select so it's kind of this brighter orange color as you can see should be the one where you just put the um, modifier on you can click control l on your keyboard and then click copy modifiers and now if we go on each of these other ones they all have the same modifier obviously you want to change this one to torso because this is on the torso and then lastly this one should be left arm and then for each of them you just want to click bind go ahead and click bind and then lastly bind and if we go back into pose mode here you will actually see that it is that it is working super per oh, maybe not super perfectly but yeah there's that that's a bit of a problem but uh yeah you just kind of it, it's not an, it's definitely not a perfect method to do it but as you can see it was super easy so for, for for most people this is all you'll need just to quickly attach things easily up like this because as you can see it does a pretty decent job there are just some parts in the rotation uh, and this doesn't depend on the rig this is for all rigs it'll just have some bits where like right there it's a bit broken and at the end i think yeah it's a bit broken too but yeah so and then if we go ahead and rotate the torso i don't know where the rotate thing is there it is but once again it's not absolutely perfect but for what it is and for how easy and quick you can do it it is super awesome make sure to go ahead and follow bob uh, i'm bob 2 on twitter because once again he showed um everyone how to do this so thank you very much to him thank you very much to all of you for watching make sure to like and subscribe turn on notifications and check out gfxrunner.com for completely free roblox gfx assets and of course donate if you can because obviously we do this all for free and i will see you all next time peace out